our journey is going to start at the point in Pittsburgh. As you can see, water has always been an important place when building a city, a town, or a fort because of all the things we use fresh water for. This is Pittsburgh at the point around the 1900s. However, Pittsburgh was building for the future. Here we can see the same point with the modern skyline. You can see the change in what man has built there. And you can also see two sports stadiums. The old Steelers Stadium was called Three Rivers Stadium because where the Monongahela, the Allegheny meet and form up, they form a third river called the Ohio. And Pittsburgh is the source of the Ohio River and where our journey begins. Now you might be thinking, Mr. G, before we go on this journey of the Ohio River, I'm hungry. Well, we might stop at Primanti Brothers, which is famous for their fresh bread, different meats, including even adding a fried egg to the top of your sandwich, and they can put french fries and coleslaw right in the sandwich. That is a Pittsburgh tradition at Primanti Brothers. And this should help us feel well fed as we continue on our journey down the Ohio River. Could also spend some time at the Carnegie Mellon Science Center in Pittsburgh. Very educational. The Ohio River watershed is 204,000 square miles. From where it starts out in the Ohio, where the Allegheny and the Monongahela form the Ohio River, it is going to flow until we get to the Little Miami, the Mill Creek, and the Great Miami Rivers. Mill Creek has always been a site of great industry. It's where Cincinnati really started to build. Unfortunately, with the great industry came the great pollution. And in 1997, it was once described as being a great sewer. Thankfully, things are starting to turn around as people are more aware of how important it is that we take care of our fresh waterways. Our final stop on our journey is the mouth, where the Southern Illinois, and we're seeing where the Mississippi and the Ohio rivers meet. We still have the businesses and the barges and the uh, railroads for transportation. But you can see, as we enter Illinois, the water is going to be used for agriculture and farming. So as the geography changes and the land use has changed, the use of the water is very important for all the different things we see. Industry, farming, irrigation, uh, as well as our co more common things of drinking and bathing and recreation. So here we are in Illinois, where the Ohio River meets the mighty Mississippi at the end of our journey. I hope you enjoyed our trip from Pittsburgh at the source of the Ohio, all the way down to the mighty Mississippi at the mouth of the Ohio River, where a new river begins its new journey.